Hey there, this is Dr. Pam Perry, and I am here today to really tell you a little bit about some of the things that we've been seeing in the speaking industry. But before we get into that, we really want to share our hearts about the problems that we're seeing and then the solution that we've come up with. Um, I'm Pam Perry. I've been doing marketing and PR for a couple of decades or so, helping people get out there and get known through Pam Perry PR dot com and also speakers magazine and so i have a heart and passion to help authors and speakers subject matter experts thought leaders to really get found get known get the exposure so they can get booked and get paid that's me in a nutshell and my colleague ryan doran he's going to tell you a little bit about his background and why or how we came together with this great idea to solve this problem yeah, um, Pam, it's been, uh, gosh, 15, 18 years of speaking, 30 years working uh, with folks in the media business, but 15, 18 years of speaking, and I have a really fortunate opportunity to speak 40, some odd 60 times a year. But what's interesting is I think that people like you and I, we kind of make it look look easy. It's really a hard business, and some of the biggest challenges out there are, are getting found, um, you know, seeing where it is, that what your path is going to be, kind of you feel like you have a message that you want to get out there, you know, to the masses and, and you want to do it. And some pe people spend a lot of money to try to make this happen. And then they fall flat on their face and they're like, wait a minute, you know, I'm better than so-and-so. I can hear them speak. I'm better than them. Why are they getting all this, all the speaking engagements and why am I not? And so I love coming together with you as we talked about the problems that your customers are facing, my colleagues are facing. And I think that we've got some really good ideas to help them solve some of these problems, Pam. And that's yes. why I'm excited to come together with you and talk about it. Yes, yes. So Ryan is a media sales guy and he knows about sales. And that's why he's speaking on 40 or so stages a year. That's a year. And so that's just about one, just about almost every weekend. Yeah. Uh, taking some time off, obviously, with family. Right. But the thing of it is, is that I'm a part of a network, a Black Speakers Network, that has roughly about 4,000 members. And they also have a Facebook group. And I'm a part of other Facebook groups. Thousands of members, thousands of members. And everybody wants the same thing. They want that stage. They want that platform. They want to think like, okay, I have a great message. People should pay me thousands of dollars to speak. Why is it not happening? And what I kept seeing was that so many people were really focused on all I need to do is get great pictures and all I have to do is just put my name in a directory and I'll get I'll get booked. Right. Like it takes so much more than that. And so yes. I kept seeing people, I don't want to say this, Ryan, but it's like kept getting people feeling, getting their feelings hurt, right? And getting their feelings hurt over and over again, because they're not getting the things that they need in order to really succeed. So me as a publicist, I know what it is that I need to do for people. I know that they need media exposure. I know that they need um, to be consistently in writing press releases. I know that they need to have the connections and, and know how to do the media sound bites. That part, I know that they need. What I wanted to come with you and uh, Allegra as well, um, to really put this together at the National Press Club, this event, Speak, Sell, and Shine, yeah. so they can speak, they can sell, and they can shine, shine right. in their light, is because I wanted them to understand that it's more than just the mechanics of your speaking, mm -hmm. and it's more than just the branding essence of your speaking, Right. your, your, your video. It's about the sales part of speaking. And that's right. really the main part that I did not see anywhere in the market. And I really wanted to pull it all together under one because I don't want people running to this conference yeah. for this, this conference for that. Yeah. So I, I wanted under one Great group idea. in October. Yeah. Well, we're having it and we're taking applications to see if it's the right fit, but kind of tell people a little bit about I mean, people say, oh, now I have to sell. I have to overcome objections. Yep. I gotta, yep. So kind of tell them a little bit about some of the things that you'll be sharing the secrets about. Yeah, yeah. So there's three really kind of main areas that I focus on. And friends, you need to recognize from the very beginning, this is a journey that you're going to go on with every meeting planner. Now, you can try that. You can say, oh, I'm going to replicate it. I'm going to build a website. It's going to take care of all of it. Let me tell you, if it was that easy, everybody would be doing it, okay? And so there's three main areas that I focus on. The first is prospecting, and that is getting your name out there. People are, you would think that people are searching the web for you, but if they don't know you, it's kind of hard for them to search for you. 
And so the first piece is kind of the prospecting piece. How do you reach out? When you reach out to a planner or to an organization, what do you say? What's going to set you apart from the rest? Because that prospecting piece, there's little keys in there that I like to teach folks. Some Just some brief ideas um, that people should take away just from this little video here is saying things along the lines of, you know, I've got affordable rates for, for any size group and any budget. Well, what does affordable mean? What does any size group mean? Well, what you're doing is you're selling to them that, listen, everybody out there is $30,000 or $25,000. But if you're a nonprofit and you come to Ryan Dorn, I will work with you to make your event a success. The other thing on prospecting is what are you saying in the emails? Are you writing a book? Are you trying to sell? Or are you just putting your topic out there and inviting people to understand? So that's kind of that, that first little piece. The second piece is actually selling at the event itself. And that is you always have to remember you get your best referrals from people that are in that audience. So you've got to be prepared to sell once you get that gig. But the third piece, it's the most important piece is what are you doing to get rehired again? Yes. What are the things you're saying and doing to get rehired and shared with other colleagues? It, nobody likes to be in sales. You know, there's a stat out there floating around, Pam, that's kind of funny, in that most people out there looking, they'd rather go to the dentist than talk to a salesperson, right? <laughs> and so I'm not saying yeah. that when you come to Speak, Sell, Shine, that I'm going to make you this marvelous salesperson. What, what I'm going to do, though, is help you understand the sales process yes. in very simple terms so that you can go back to your office as you're building your website and your materials and recognize, all right, there's a roadmap I can follow. Even if we can help you get 10 more gigs, you're going to pay for this event. Even five mm -hmm. more gigs, you're going to mm -hmm. pay for this event. i got a passion for it, Pam, if you can't tell. I love yeah. teaching people. And so I think everything they're going to get at Speak, Shell, Speak, Sell, Shine is going to help everyone be better in their marketing, their sales, and all the phases of what it takes mm -hmm. to be a really great speaker that's getting paid to right. do what it is you want to do. I love that. And one of the things I'm very passionate about when Lamarian talked about leads and uh, really generating uh, prospects, that's one of the things that PR does for you. Right. So it generates leads. It gives you that buzz. It makes people want you and, and people who are going to come to the event, think about it too. So people who uh, hire you to speak, they want you to fill the room. Right. So if they've never heard of you, that means that meeting planner would have failed because people wouldn't sign up for that event. Right. So you want to have a little bit cachet about your brand uh, right. before you even kind of get out there because the meeting planner wants to put people in the seats. They want to put peeps in the seats. And so right. by having a brand, building your brand, having PR, having stellar uh, marketing materials, something that they can be proud to share with the other people in the room and says, yeah, this is the speaker that we need to get. They know that your stuff is together. So yeah. that's what this event will do is help you get your stuff together like so that. that it can really be like a, 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 a what Brian said, a, a roadmap, a blueprint so that you know what to do first when. Right. And that really way you don't have to really do it anymore because you'll have everything that you need in this one blueprint. We will we'll give you handouts. We'll give you all the uh, publicity plans, the things mm -hmm. that you need in order to be successful because we're mm -hmm. tired of seeing people not really knowing where to go or not putting it in the right sequence. Right. And what is the most important in terms of the level of importance of where to really spend the most of the time. You know what you know. You're a subject yes. matter expert. Ah! Yeah. You know that. Yeah. And there's there's a dog right there, yeah. too. So a, he's, subject matter expert. Yeah. He's a subject matter expert, too, about finding, finding people at the door. Uh, so, so you want to make sure that when you are going to do uh, the, the pitch to the meeting planner, to the association, mm -hmm. that you have everything that you need. And you're confident right. about that. Yep. You know what Indeed. you know, but you don't know the speaking industry. So we're going to give you the ins and outs about that. Yeah. And, 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 it's, and it is actually, it actually is quite replicatable, um, if that's the right word. And so I can actually show you, okay, here's the five or six things that I do. Like an example would be that we're going to teach you. Whenever I say to a meeting planner, I'll also do promo videos for you that you I'll record them here in my my studio, promo videos for you, happy to mm -hmm. share and get on Facebook and Instagram, et cetera, yes. with you. Things like I bring no ego to this experience. I'm here to make you look great. Never forget, and we'll share this at the event. Your job is to entertain the crowd, but your and share your message, but your job is to make that meeting planner look great. 
And when mm. you do, they refer you. See, the plan is actually once you get past about the fifth year of doing this, then all of a sudden, because you get booked by the same people every few years, mm-hmm. once you get past that fifth year, all of a sudden it starts snowballing. But what you need is expert advice, and that's what we're going to give. I really feel like this is something that I've been put on the earth to do, not only teach and train about sales, but help speakers that have a message to understand the roadmap to be successful. And I mm-hmm. promise you, friends, if you pay attention, you're going to walk away with great headshots, great video, great training from Pam and I, and you're going to walk away literally with a roadmap you can follow uh, to be successful. I'm, I'm so excited about this October. It's going to be great. And mentors will always be there for you. We're yeah. your mentors. We want to see you succeed. Right and we on. want to hear those great glowing things. Like I remember when I sat at the National Press Club and yeah. we, it was just a small group of us and we were just kind of figuring this right. thing out. And now look at me. Yeah. Mom, I made it. You know, that yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if nothing else, and you know this, Pam, as well as Allegra does and others as well, it's also about the network. Because yeah. now that I have a chance, I'm going to be able to sit in the audience and hear 20 some odd people speak and I can go, ah, like that one. And I can refer you like mm. that one. I can refer you, Pam, you're going to hear these folks speak and go, oh, wow, that's mm. an amazing talk. I could mm. refer to that. But the same thing for me, you're going to hear me as somebody that's participating. You're going to go, oh, I like Ryan. I should tell mm. others about him. So if nothing else, it's about networking with meeting planners and other speakers. Pam, yeah. you and I get referred by other speakers way more than speaking bureaus. And let me tell you, friends, don't don't spend the money that you would spend on Speak, Sell, Shine at trying to get into a speaker's bureau, okay? I've mm-hmm. done this without a speaker's bureau. I still am involved with them, but we've done this without speaker's bureaus and recognizing that a lot of it is sales, great PR, great website, great talk that we can help you refine, great video to prove you know what you're doing, great photos. It's the whole package at Speak, mm-hmm. Sell, Shine. I'm stoked about the event. It's going to be great. Yes, it's, it's, it is the whole package. That's what it. it is. So make sure that you apply the link down here or up here, wherever wherever we're going to place this video. <laughs> make sure that you apply. That way we can know your goals and we can see if this is the right match for you. So I'm, Brian, I'm like, I'm really like, I can't wait for October. It's going to be great. It's been something bubbling in my head for years because I kept seeing gaps in the market. I was like, where can we put in the gaps? And then I met you and I was like, Awesome. It's a Mr. Beast. That's I love it. it. So I love it. Allegra, Allegra, who is like the media maven, she's a former TV producer. Uh, I'll be giving like PR, guaranteed PR results for people so they can actually walk away and have start building their buzz. And then the sales piece. Yeah. That's it. That is That's really awesome. it. So anyway, make sure you apply and we will see you in October. Awesome. See you there. Thanks.